If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show. Thank you for tuning in to the Mad Rapper Show. I'm your host, the Mad Rapper, and on today's show, we're going to be talking about racism and fraternities. Now, it's, it's, it's sweeping the news waves right now. Everybody knows about it. Uh, the fraternity SAE at OU singing a racist chant on a bus. And basically what they said was, hang those niggas from a tree. They can't join SAE. <laughs> they said, they said, ain't never going to be a nigger at SAE. All right. So SAE is a, a no-fly zone for niggers, I guess. Now, a lot of people are happy that the, the president of the college basically expelled their ass and, you know, and wiped their hands free of this fraternity. Um, here's the issue I have with this. Like, I lived in Oklahoma for the better part of my life. So, like, even if I didn't see that video, I assume shit like that happens all the time anyway. If you are in Oklahoma and you assume that racism ain't nowhere, you fucking hiding a motherfucker then. Because, yeah, it's everywhere. So I assume shit like this was happening anyway. And I assume it's been happening for a long, long time. Probably since the when they first made that fraternity up. So the people saying, oh, it's just some rich, preppy kids and they just getting out of line. It's always a few knuckleheads that, no, motherfucker. Tradition. This is tradition. This is a fraternity. So that song they were singing, they didn't make that shit up last week. It wasn't like they were sitting in their dorm in their fraternity house talking about, hey, we need to come up with some shit we can do on the bus as we travel. Come up with a few songs. Uh, I got one. Why don't we say, uh, there'll never be a nigger in SAE. <laughs> no, this shit was probably from the 60s, probably 50s, 40s, whenever the fuck they invented this motherfucking fraternity, they've been singing, ain't gonna be no niggers. Like, they've been singing that shit, so don't act brand new. And act like these motherfuckers made this shit up last week. The only difference between the people that were singing it in 1972 and the motherfuckers that got caught singing it in 2015 was social media and technology. See, back in the day, they couldn't record you saying that shit. And for the motherfucker that was on the bus that heard you singing that song and wasn't down, he could go tell his people, but what the fuck, so... There's no hard evidence. You can go tell somebody, but at that time, who gives a fuck anyway? No one cared. But now, you can get recorded saying some stupid shit. And it can be online, and it can go viral really quick now. So, that was tradition. They just got caught. And if, and if, you know, the video never surfaced, and maybe somebody told, they wouldn't be in trouble. The, the, the president of OU would have just shrugged his shoulders. Well, I, I don't have any hard evidence that they were racist. Come on, man. Dude, shit been going on. And I'm sure it happens a lot in colleges throughout the South, man. We just don't see the shit. So get over it. Get over it. For you people that live on the East Coast and the West Coast, y'all y'all already think Oklahoma's fucked off anyway. Like, when I used to live in Washington State, and we'd be seeing shit about Oklahoma, and people be like, damn, it's like that in Oklahoma? I'm just like, damn, you know, I shake my head in disbelief that I was embarrassed once again by my state. So people around the country are looking at this like, damn, really? Don't they know the president's a nigger? You know what I'm saying? But dude, I did not need to see this shit to assume that was happening anyway, you know? So it's a, it's a lot of black folks to go to that school that definitely, I know it hated on them with the like uh, the prospects that was gonna come play football for us, you know? Because think about it, I'm an athlete from somewhere else, maybe a predominantly black place, and I'm badass, I'm good at what I do, and I'm thinking about going to OU, you know what I'm saying? And then and then I see this shit, and, and I ain't never heard nigga even say it to my face or with my ears without an A at the end of that shit. And I'm watching a video where these white people at this college 
You know what I'm saying? And in my neighborhood, the only white person I see is the dude that owned the, the corner store, the liquor store or something. You know what I'm saying? And I'm hearing this motherfucker say some shit and just dropping ERs everywhere. I wouldn't go to the school. I'd be like, fuck that shit. I ain't going to that school. That's racist. That's racist. So, I had to make this video because I just wanted to share, you know, with my fans how I felt about it because I know it was coming. I was going to get emails saying, ain't you in Oklahoma? What do you think about this? It, it ain't no big deal, man. It, even if a video never surfaced, I would have still thought SAE was racist as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And that's just because I know where I'm at. So, you guys open y'all's eyes, quit tripping. You know, technology is helping us put a face on racism now. Because back in the day, it used to be out, where motherfuckers look at you in your face. You know, I go knock at the fraternity door, and they open the door, like, what do you want, boy? And I'm like, hey, I want a pledge. It's like, don't you know, ain't no nigga gonna be in SAE. But then now, as time progressed, and we got rights, you know what I'm saying? It was shunned, you know, looked down upon to be racist like that. So it's been undercover. Let's let's get on this bus with our friends and sing this racist chant. <laughs> and then in the next season, let's cheer for all the black people on the team to help us, you know, win and shit. Come on, get the fuck out of here with that. So technology is definitely helping people to see the true face of racism in 2015 and beyond, and I'm very happy about that. Now, whether you agree with me or don't, comment below and let me know. This is the Mad Rapper, and I'm out. I'm the Mad Rapper, I speak the truth, I let it flow. If you got an opinion, comment below and let me know. If you like, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends about the Mad Rapper Show.